Hi, I'm Rear Admiral John Kirby, Chief of Information for the U.S. Navy, and I wanted to spend just a few minutes talking about the Fiscal Year 14 budget, which the Navy is submitting to Congress this spring. This budget does lots of stuff for us. We think it's a very practical, pragmatic budget, but I want to talk about some of the highlights. First, it's going to preserve pay and benefits for our sailors and their families, and it's going to help us grow end strength by about 1,000 sailors to something over 323,000 total. What does that do for us? Well, it also helps us decrease the shortage of some of the at-sea manning billets that we have out there. It's going to help us do a better job of fit and fill for the fleet. The second thing this budget's going to do is it's going to help us train you and maintain your equipment. Training and operations dollars increase just slightly through this budget. Maintenance dollars stay about the same. The bottom line is we know you need good equipment to work on and that we need good equipment out there in the fleet. We're going to be able to maintain that equipment uh, through this budget. The last thing it's going to do is it's going to help us build a fleet for the future. Uh, this budget alone calls for the construction of eight new ships and for the procurement of 165 new aircraft. Aircraft like the P-8, the Joint Strike Fighter, uh, in, in addition to helicopters. It's also going to build uh, ships like the LCS and the DDG-1000 and a couple of new attack submarines. Bottom line is, this budget, we believe, is practical, it's pragmatic, it recognizes the fiscal environment that we're living in, and it's going to help us continue to meet the requirement, and a requirement that is increasing, requirement for naval forces all around the world.